Hi friends, how is everybody doing today? So as you guys can see, I finally decided to bite the bullet and start getting my little office space extra room together so that I can feel, you know, good about my workspace. I was really, I never really came into this room unless I had to work because y'all know I work from home and I would only come in here whenever I had to work and I would leave. But I decided because I've been such in like a little rut lately and I'm like, you know what, let's put some time, energy and everything into this room to make it like where you want to be in here so you can spend more time in here. And, you know, when you have a good workspace, it just makes you want to do work and feel good and you feel inspired and everything. So that's what this is all about. Um, it's not done at all. I still have a lot of things that I want to do, but I thought I was like, oh. I was so excited actually when I finished this, like when I got this couch and everything, I was so excited because I was like, oh, now I can film a video and it's a cuter background than that ugly, just, yeah, it was a mess before. So I hope you guys enjoy this new scenery. Um, it's still a lot more to come. So that's why I'm not showing you guys everything, but just wait on it. But anywho, I wanted to record this kind of long awaited video. I had mentioned this briefly, like I kind of like, sneak peeked it in one of my previous cosmetology school videos but today I'm finally sitting down and doing this long winded story that is actually really crazy when you sit back and think about it because just the ageism racism like all the isms that could possibly be in this is there so let me just tell you okay so uh, I also want to preface this by saying like a lot of comments that I get whenever I do my cosmetology videos is like oh why didn't you report this oh you should have done this oh you should have done that as far as like kind of like going against the institute itself there's a million reasons why I didn't I can't really tell you that like in, at the time when it was happening I don't really know how to explain it but it just didn't seem like what it was now looking back on it and a lot of this stuff was happening to other people so it was like I can't really report stuff for other people and it was just like a lot you know going on so we could do the whole shoulda coulda wouldas I should have reported this I should have done that more than half of the people that even were educators or the director I know for a fact don't even work there anymore so it's just like I don't really know how it is now I can just only speak on my experience which is what I'm doing so you know karma is karma all these people are gonna get it if they haven't already because it's been so damn long but it is what it is I'm not I don't really know what to say about it you know it's just unfortunately these are just things that as minorities as women as people as just individuals living within America have to deal with on a daily basis so I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you that I reported it but it is what it is anywho let's go ahead and get into this story because this is going to be a long one and when I say I have to give y'all the backstory to everything that leads up to this point I have to give you all the backstory. So let's start. So this is going to be back in my cosmetology school day. There was three Persian women that went to our school. Now they identified themselves as Persian. They introduced themselves as Persian. That is why I'm using that. If that is politically incorrect or something, I don't know. That is just how they refer to themselves to me. Okay, so <laughs> there were three Persian women and two of them were sisters and one of them was kind of like an acquaintance that they knew because from what they told us all the time is that when you are Persian, especially like in Nashville, they had like a really big community, they stay within their community. Like they only befriend and they only hang out and they only talk to like the Persian community. Like they're cool with us or whatever. They always said that, especially to me. They're like, oh yeah, we're, we're cool with you and everything, but like we can't be friends outside of this. And it's like, oh, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> but that's kind of how the vibes were with them so they knew this lady but which we're gonna give everybody a name so the sisters we're just gonna refer to them as the sisters because they're not like really a main thing and then we're gonna call this woman we're gonna call her eve so eve was a older woman like she was probably in her mid to late 50s and she was um like an acquaintance to the persian sisters now the tea was they didn't like 
her daughter because the sisters were the same age of Eve's daughter. So there was like unsettled beef, but because they all went to the same cosmetology school and because they had to see each other every day, they were like cool or whatever. Now, the sisters would tell us like all about their Persian beef. Like they would tell us all the stuff about like the parties, the birthday parties and stuff like that, that Eve didn't really like vibe with or whatever like they would always tell us the tea about this woman like it was always so crazy because they take their stuff so serious and like they take like gift giving and everything it was it was kind of interesting as like you know an american to hear about how serious they take like different things that us we don't think of as a big deal but to them it was and so one of the biggest issues was that the eve's daughter had like a birthday party or something and they basically didn't invite like a certain part of their community so there was beef between these women now eve was one of those women i'm not even gonna lie to you even though she did not deserve any of this that i'm about to tell you but we will go there eve was one of those women who liked to pretend that she was just this sweet old lady she liked to play <sighs> She liked to play oblivious to a lot of stuff, but it was like, she was low-key shady. I'm not even gonna lie. Eve was low-key shady and she would do stuff to us too, not just the sisters. Like she would do stuff to the rest of us classmates that we would be like, okay, like, but she would play up the whole, like, I'm a sweet old lady card. I didn't really vibe with Eve that much. I wasn't a big fan of her just because of things that she used to do. But it wasn't anything like crazy. I don't know how to explain it, but like she was just very pushy on like products. Like she would kind of like force the, her clients to like buy products and she would basically like just do very off-putting things where she would take a really really long time to do something so like the rest of the class wouldn't be able to do something like I don't I don't want to say this in like any kind of way but it was just like she was just one of those classmates that you just didn't want to partner with you didn't want to do stuff with because it was she was going to make you do all the work or she was going to take forever it was just one of those situations where a lot of people just didn't want to be partnered with her a lot of people did not want to be you know around her and blah 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 and the persian sisters were also not really helping her case because they were exposing all the stuff that she did in her personal life that kind of just did not paint her in a very good light so overall she just wasn't a vibe that's what i want to keep it as and so a lot of people she's just kind of off-putting and so our educators we had two of them they were always really like nice to her and very like accommodating to her because i'm not joking y'all she would play up the whole like i'm an old lady i don't know what i'm doing card but she would like just as an example right so like she was very smart she smoked like five different languages like she was very well aware of what was going on and everything and to the sisters like th that's another thing that i didn't really like but the educators would make the sisters like translate for her but she knew what was going on so i don't know if you would consider that you know kind of problematic but like they would do stuff like that they'd be like can you um tell eve what i said like can you translate for her like i just in case she doesn't get it like very much that but needless to say like eve would just we would have to be do we would be like told to do a haircut and Eve would pull out the blow dryer and just start blow drying her mannequin head and everybody would just be like what are you doing and then even the Persian sisters would be like she knows what she's doing she's just doing that because she wants to like she knows exactly what we're supposed to be doing so like I mentioned Eve was just very off-putting like I don't really know how else to explain her it's so wild because I before I made the video I'm like I don't really know how to explain this in a way of like she wasn't a great classmate she wasn't a very good student but what she did did not her actions did not warrant what happened to her but at the same time it's like to tell the story like you know this is my thing though we are educators like in our class we knew of eve's antics because we were with her all the time and we like we were exposed to it and by the way there was a huge fight that happened where she showed her whole colors like all her true colors came out that day 
but that's irrelevant to this part of the story but like we were around her and we were exposed to how she really was other classes and other educators didn't know her they didn't know anything of this and that's why it like bothers me about what I'm about to say with the story anyway. To everybody that wasn't in class with her, she was just this sweet Persian old lady who was just like, just needs a little bit of extra help. And you know, she's older and she's just so this, that, and a third, right? So like I mentioned before, she would take a long time with clients. She most of the time wouldn't even listen to what the client had to say. She would just do whatever she felt like doing. And that's what I'm talking about. It was so crazy to me because her client would be like, yeah, I want my hair straight. And then she would just start curling their hair with a flat iron and like they weren't very good. And so like the client would just be like, no, I wanted my hair straight. And she'll be like, no, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do your hair curly. It's it's prettier this way. And then like the client would end up being upset. And it was just like, <laughs> I admire people like that in like a weird way. I really admire people that just blatantly don't care like you ask for your hair straight I'm gonna give it to you curly because I feel like curling your hair today like I admire people like that <laughs> so that's the kind of vibe she was giving and a lot of educators knew about that because she would constantly do that to clients but neither here nor there like at the end of the day they weren't her educators so they didn't really know her like that so the reason why I'm saying this is because there was a, a specific educator that I just, oh my God, the, the the sour taste that this woman has in my mouth. And we are going to call her Ariana because she thinks she, well, she low-key kind of does look like Ariana Grande, but she really like, she took that to the head. And she was just not, a, she was a mean girl. Like, oh my gosh. She was the one that was talking about the makeup and was like, um, it's not that the makeup is bad. It's just that you guys just don't know how to use it. Like she gave that, right? So we're going to call her Ariana. So Ariana was one of the educators that was there, but she was for another class. So there was the Monday through Thursday class and there's the Wednesday through Saturday class. So I was Wednesday through Saturday and so was Eve. And Ariana was the educator for the Monday through Thursday. But there were certain, certain times like um, on Wednesdays and Thursdays that our class would kind of like merge because we were all together at the same time and for whatever reason ariana had just like this weird vibe to her where she didn't want to deal with anybody from the wednesday saturday class and she especially didn't want to deal with eve because like not for nothing eve did like take a long time just didn't follow directions just did her own thing and then whenever you tried to address it with her it would be like the whole like oh I'm so confused I don't know what's going on but like you know she knows what's going on she's just playing it up and like we can't we confirm that she knows what's going on Ariana was just like always treating us a type of way and everything like that and she was always one of those educators that like made it clear that like we're not her student and she's not our educator so don't ask her questions don't come up to her don't you know she was just so annoying but anyway we were able to do like we were able to schedule appointments on our off days and we would get them at like a half price like our retail was like 50 percent off we got all retail 50 percent off for being a student and we could just make an appointment so like if somebody from the monday wednesday class or monday thursday class wanted to get their hair done by me on a saturday they could come and like they would be treated like a client right because we are paying whether or not we are students we are paying for the service okay so at this point in time within the program we were almost done with school but a lot of us were trying to like get our hours back up because especially me i had too much going on during cosmetology year like that year was nuts but i was actually going to school from monday through saturday i was going there from 9 to 5 30 so that i could get my hours back up so there was a time where Eve had came and she booked an appointment and I was the one that was doing it because I was working on like a Monday, I think it was. And mind you, I was getting exposed to a lot of Ariana's antics and she was just really rude. Like she was just not a nice person at all. I was in her class sometimes, but that's why I say like Ariana was just like not a vibe because 
who cares i'm a student here and i have to make up my hours but because i was wednesday through saturday she just would ignore me like when i would be there on monday through um tuesday mondays and tuesdays right she would just blatantly ignore me when i would ask her something she just wouldn't pay attention to me or anything i give it to her because i was able to make up a lot of hours by just doing nothing because she just didn't care about what i was going like what i had going on but anyway, so I was able to take appointments as well on Mondays and Tuesdays. So Eve ended up making an appointment with me for a color and a cut because she said that she liked the way I do her color. So I was like, okay, cool. So she comes in and I go ahead and do the consultation. I'm like, hey, what are you wanting to do? And she was wanting to do a, um, like a dark red like a wine red color and she had very short hair like she had uh i'll put in pictures so she had that kind of a haircut and she's just wanting like a red wine kind of color and so i was like okay cool i picked out the swatches i'm like so what are you thinking blah 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 and she was like yeah even though she was a student we had to treat it like a customer so i had to go get ariana and i had to confirm everything that we were doing give her the formula have her sign off on it and boom bang pow so when I call Ariana over there, I was like, hey, um, Eve is wanting to do this, 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 and this, and we're going to refresh her haircut and blah, 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 blah. So she was like, oh, okay, like, what are we thinking? And I told her the, the color that she was thinking, and she was like, you think that would look good on you? I was like, who cares what you think? Like, why would you say something like, like to me that is such a rude question like as a stylist to be like you think that color would look good on you like if that's the color that they want that's the color that they want like and why would it not look good on her like you know it was just weird it was weird the way she was like you think that color would look good on you so um eve was like yeah i really want this color i was talking to my daughter about it blah 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 she's just going on and on about how she wants this color so me i'm the type of stylist i'm gonna give you what you want you come in you want this color i'm gonna give you that color i go ahead and she signs off on it so i go get the color and i start applying it on her hair and so even though like i didn't really vibe with eve like that it wasn't no beef or there wasn't i wasn't mean to her or rude to her it was like you know like internally when you're just like what is going on with this woman that's how i would be but like we didn't have any issues so i'm just talking to her i'm getting to know her a little bit more and she's kind of like telling me her story about how she got here and how she because i'm always curious about why people moved from wherever they came from to nashville of all places and so she was basically telling me like her whole thing her whole story she was showing me pictures of her daughter she was showing her da -da -da -da, whatever and i was just you know intrigued i was like okay cool we're vibing we're clicking and i'm just doing her hair obviously her hair was short so it wasn't anything that like crazy that i had to do so i finished up her color like it was an all-over color and this is very specific so personally me I don't like getting people's hair like I am not a sloppy colorist I think that is so unprofessional when you just slap color and there's color all over somebody's face and like all over their hairline where it shouldn't be so right like my hairline it comes down a lot lower than a lot of other people's so obviously to cover that you have to put the color on there so it's gonna get some color on your skin but as far as just like sloppily just throwing color on somebody's face I don't do that so i had her hairline crisp okay the color was exactly where it needed to be and i was about to put a processing cap on her but because we have to check in with our educators i had to go get ariana so i go get ariana and i was like hey can you check my application blah 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 so she starts going in and she starts picking it and doing what educators have to do and then this woman takes the color and she goes oh you just need to make sure that you cover the grays and she slaps color on this woman's forehead like just slaps it on there and so i go ahead and i grab the towel so i could like clean it up and she's like no, no no it has to stay like that because it's you want to make sure that the there it's completely saturated to cover the grays and i'm just like what the heck like you do not have to, what does coloring somebody's forehead have anything to do with 
the color but whatever so i just like what and so i'm trying to clean it as best as i can and then before i before like she leaves again she slaps another like thing of color specifically on her forehead so it's like literally like right here and then like the rest of her hair i'm like what and so um eve was like oh it's okay like just as long as the grays are covered like i'm okay like you can you can stain my skin a little bit it's fine i can wash it off so i'm just like okay like well let me just clean this up a little bit so that way it doesn't you know stain too bad and so she just like sloppily like does that and then just drops the bowl and she's like all right well let me know when you guys are when you need me again like that's how she was she was so rude it's like just let me know when you need me again okay mm -hmm. i ugh, cannot mind you let me just also tell you something because i forgot eve came in with an outfit to go out and she told me that while her color was processing she had a dress on she had a like a jacket and she had these boots like she looked like she was going out after this which you know whatever it could be the great debate on whether or not you should wear clothes that you like or whatever but just keep that in mind okay she was wearing clothes to go out and she told me that she was going to go out after this eve's appointment was like later on in the day it wasn't early but it wasn't so like let's say the school closed at five her appointment had to have been like 3 30 or something like that so and I, I completely forgot to mention that she had came in with her own formula that she wanted to use on her hair and ariana told me to change the formula so because she was a student i was talking to her about it and then ariana was like no it needs to be this formula blah 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 and then me and eve eve was like oh yeah okay we can do that blah 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 so basically we went with ariana's formula because you know her root self was like oh are you sure that's gonna look good on you are you saying that like that whole thing so she made her own she altered the formula that he had eve had came in with and so we applied that and then this is where i'm letting y'all know that she had clothes to go out in okay because she was going out after her hair was done so it's time for us to go ahead and wash her hair so i'm going at the shampoo bowl i'm washing her hair out i'm you know doing the whole thing so as i'm shampooing her hair i'm getting a towel and i am like basically trying to take the the color off her hairline so that way like she didn't have the stain oh my to this day this like infuriates me so there was one educator the guy remember from the um they blow dried my hair video or like my first blow dry or whatever the male educator that was there he always thought oh my god he looked like samuel l jackson but like the wwe version like the biggest boldest man but he looked like samuel l jackson so just to give you guys a visual a visual he comes over and he was like, do you know the secret to getting color off your hair or getting color off skin? And I was like, what? And he was like, color. So he's like, so may I? And I was like, oh, what are you going to do? And he was like, I'm going to show you. So I'm thinking he's going to show me how to remove this color off this woman's head, right? He takes the freaking hose he sprays her face down, right? So it's like this whole part right here. And he takes the um, the color that was on here and he just starts rubbing it in. I'm not joking, y'all, from like her uh, sideburns to her forehead. This man is just rubbing in her color. And then he takes the hose again and he just starts spraying this woman with the water, like his shampoo. And I'm just like, oh, but like I try not to get like the customer, like I'm trying to get their hair and stuff not wet because I don't want their clothes to be wet. He looks me dead in my face as he takes the hose like from behind her neck just wetting this woman he's like well it's an expectation that you know you go to the hair salon you know you're gonna get a little wet and i'm just like yeah but not like a shower like what is this so he's basically like rolling this down like just spraying this poor woman down and eve like she is really taking this like a champ and but she's like looking at me like a side eye and she's looking at me and i'm looking at her and then i'm looking at him and i'm like it's okay like i could take over from here and he would not give me back the the um hose thing so i'm just like what is like what so 
she was given a shower and all of that was taken care of right so we take her back to the bowl mind you her whole back is wet like the whole back is wet i have her hair in like the little turban thing that they make us do and i'm just like let me go ahead and try to blow dry you a little bit so that way we can get you a little bit dry so it took a minute for us to blow dry her clothes back to being you know from being dressed i'm not joking y'all it was like from her shoulders to her back like it was crazy and it was soaked like oh my god so i'm just sitting there with the blow dryer and i'm just like oh my god like this is crazy like oh my goodness so i'm just blow drying her her clothes and she still has a turban on her head here comes ariana Ariana's gonna be like, what are we doing? Like, and I was like, oh, well, I'm just blow drying some of her clothes, like her clothes because um, homie decided to give her a shower. And I was like, oh, she got wet. Um, so I'm just kind of air drying her clothes a little bit so she doesn't have to sit with the wet cape and like a wet um, back, hello. And she was like, well, you know, it's okay. Like, we don't want to like make this last any longer because at this point now it was about like four something. It was it was like closer to the time that it was leaving. Everybody got ants in their pants. All the educators had ants in their pants when it was time for us to leave, which I mean, I get it. But at the same time, this is your job. You get paid, okay? So let's relax. You get paid for being here. So I'm trying to get my education. <laughs> So she's just like, oh, okay, well, um, let's kind of speed this up. Like, she's okay. Like, as long as it's not like soaking, you got most of it dry. So we're good. And it was not dry at all. But she was basically trying to rush me to go ahead and do her haircut and get this woman out. So we go ahead while she's there. I take the turban off and the color was not at all. Like, <laughs> the color was not even a little bit close to what she was wanting like it was ronald mcdonald red not a red wine color so i was like ooh. when i took the turban off of her i was like Ugh. and she was like mm, no this is not what i wanted so i was just like i completely understand because when i tell y'all she wanted like a red wine color and this was literally ronald mcdonald red and it did not look good <laughs> oh my god it did not look good and so ariana's ariana's sitting here trying to play dumb she's like what's wrong with it is this not the color that you wanted and then i was like i think she was going for more of like a wine kind of cherry cola red not really this and then Eve was like yeah no I don't really like it like this is not the color that I was looking for and then Ariana was like well based off the time that we have like you're just gonna have to come back and get it fixed because like we just don't have enough time you know to keep you know we we can't just do an all over color and then wait for it to process and then get you rinsed out and everything so it looks like you know we're, you're just gonna have to come back and get it redone and Eve was like, we don't have time. Like, it could be really quick. And so I'm just sitting here like, what do you mean we don't have enough time? Like, this lady's hair is literally nothing. It's going to take me nothing to mix this up, put this on her hair, and get her good to go. Like, maybe she could sacrifice her haircut if, she real, if you really wanted to take it there. But what are you talking about? So she was like, yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, we're just, we're just not going to have time to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to have to do the haircut and, you know, call it a day. And I was like, oh, well, do you think that like we could do like a toner or something that we could just put on here and just kind of like help her out? And she was just like, mm, I don't know. I don't think a toner is going to do it. Like, you're just going to have to come back. Yep. She's just going to have to come back. And I'm just like, what? And so I like you could tell in her face that she's disappointed as I would be, too. And so I was like, do you think I could just like put some color on her real quick and then maybe we can just like not do the haircut because she had she was booked for a haircut. So maybe we could just not do the haircut and just do the color. And so Ariana's like, I guess like we, we, but we just have to do this really fast. We just have to do it really fast. And I'm just like, OK, mind you people, the whole reason and like I'm just going to say this up front now 
the whole reason people were even getting their like services done during the week was because the other class was hyping it up so much anytime you were in like any kind of huddle they would be like oh my god did you guys see samantha did my hair i came in on my off day and she really did my hair and blah 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 like they would hype up coming in to get their hair done by each other so much and so it's like y'all make it seem like it's acceptable to do it until uh, some of us want to get our hair done then all of a sudden it's like oh we don't have time oh it's this oh it's that you know that whole thing so I was just like I'm gonna go ahead and do that and she's like well you just you just have to be fast about it okay we don't we're not gonna be past here but we're not gonna be here past 5 30 and I was just like yeah it's okay it's fine so I tell Eve I'm like look give me a second I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up real quick I'm gonna make it darker so that way we can you know do it so I'm back at the color station where I'm mixing it up and I'm asking Ariana, I was like, hey, do you think I should add more red or should I add like more brown? And she's like, well, it really doesn't matter. Like, it's just going to have to be darker just to kind of get rid of those tones. But I told her like that color is just not going to look good on her. And I'm just sitting here like the color that this is the color you formulated that she did not want. She had her own formula and it's not a matter of it's not what like the color wasn't gonna look good on her it's this is not what she asked for so obviously this color's not gonna look good on her this color is not gonna look good on anybody it was so ugly I don't know what Ariana was on she was on drugs apparently because there was no way that this was what he made that statement and I'm just like I didn't say anything. I just mixed up the color and I just went back and I put it on her hair. I didn't even get her to check the application or anything. I was just going ahead and knocking it out. So me and Eve were talking and she's basically letting me know. Like while we were talking, she's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I just feel like sometimes I'm behind. And she's basically like opening up to me about like, she knows that people have issues with her. But she's basically like, I know I have issues with time, but this is just something that I really wanted to do for myself and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like really getting to know her. So I guess, you know, we connected, we bonded and we were just, you know, chatting and talking while I was doing her hair. So like now I'm really getting to know her and you know, I'm just like, I kind of felt bad that I've, you know, felt type of way towards her. But I mean, at the same time, she did bring it up on herself sometimes. So whatever. But, you know, as I'm getting to know her a little bit more, I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, cool, whatever. And I'm starting to, you know, bond with her a lot more than I did before she came to do her hair so I go to wash her hair and I'm washing it and everything and I was like I'm gonna put a deep conditioner on it so I put a deep conditioner because we did two color processes on her so I'm putting a deep conditioner on her and I went back to the color station so I could get the condition that we needed because we were out so I go in there and I was she um Ariana was like um what are we doing and I was like oh I'm just putting a conditioning treatment on her really quickly so um that way um so that way her hair doesn't feel so bad and she's like well you know that's extra right and I was like yeah I know she she's fine with it and she was like oh, okay like just letting you know that it's, it's gonna be extra which that's another thing everybody used to talk about how they would put each other they would put botanical treatments because that's what it was it was the um dry remedy bot botanical treatments that they charge extra for they would do it on each other for free they would not charge each other they would do it for free but now ariana's gonna sit here and tell me that i have to charge her because i really wasn't gonna charge her for it like i lied she did not know like i just told her i was gonna do it but i did not say that i was gonna charge her because the girl at the front desk she and i were cool so i wasn't gonna charge her anyway because that was the thing students didn't get charged for botanical treatments but now all of a sudden i have you're making an emphasis that i have to charge it on her which whatever if that's the policy that's the policy but i just think that's kind of funny and weird and already off the vibes that you were giving me I'm not really feeling you and I feel like there are a lot of undertones so yeah I am gonna take it that way so I go to the thing I go to the shampoo bowl and I start putting the treatment on her and I had to you had to let it sit for about five minutes so while she was sitting at the shampoo bowl and she was getting like the treatment was like sitting on her or whatever I was cleaning my station and I had went to the front and I was talking to the receptionist because the receptionist and I were cool so I was talking to her and so then Ariana comes up to us and she was like hey mind you I feel like she did this because she wanted to show out in front of the receptionist I remember this day so vividly she put her hands on the little counter thing and she was like hey um I just want to let you know that we just don't have time for her to do a haircut and honestly she can just leave wet 
And I was like, why would she leave wet? And she was like, because like, we just don't have time for this. Like, I and honestly, like, I don't even know like why she even got her hair done today. And I'm like, first of all, ma'am, we are not cool. We are not friends. Like, I don't know why you feel the need to confide in me and like basically talk bad about this woman to me. But I'm just like, she was like, oh, um, I just, I just don't really know what to tell her. Like, she's just not going to be able to get her hair done. She can just leave with her hair wet. So don't even blow dry it. Like, I have stuff to do after this. So we'll just, like, she's talking to me like I'm one of her, like, acquaintances or something. Like, we're, we're just going to kiki at the front, talk about people. Like, no. Especially not about first of all i'm not opposed to that but i'm not gonna do that with you and i'm not gonna do it about her because no so she's like basically being like oh yeah she could just leave wet like it's fine like i've already had enough of her like this has already been dragged out longer than it needs to be and i'm just like this is kind of like a side note that i have to tell y'all before i tell you what ariana had said after that so basically Eve was known for kind of like not following the rules like I told you and she would just kind of do her own thing but apparently she had been confronted by one of the educators who was good friends with Ariana and basically they kind of just like not confronted but they brought it to her attention that what she was doing and she's not allowed to do that and things like that well eve ended up going to the director and basically threatening like an ageism racism lawsuit against them because she said that they were basically being racist towards her that was always kind of like an ongoing thing as to why eve was able to do and get away with a lot of more stuff because she had already threatened a lawsuit against them so they were very cautious on what they would say and how they would say things to her and addressing her and things like that now mind you i'm all for that you should if that is the case if there is any kind of discrimination against you however i'm like i mentioned earlier eve would just do things like it would just be like this ain't got nothing to do with discrimination girl you just don't listen so I got that like I get it I see both sides to it especially from like from this situation versus like everyday schooling but it was just something that was on there so the educator that she had threatened about like the whole discrimination thing against that was Ariana's friend so before I had left she was like I mean if she's already gonna say we're discriminating against her like what's the worst that's gonna happen So she's salty because she had already said that. So basically, it's like retaliation, I guess you could say. The reason why she was treating her that way was because of retaliation against her friend because she threatened a lawsuit for discrimination. And so that's kind of stupid if you already know that this woman is about that life, about the whole discrimination thing. Why are you going to discriminate against her? You're so dumb, but whatever so she said that and i just walked away i'm like this is not real like this is not serious like, this was out of my hands i couldn't do the haircut if i wanted to because i can't you know this is also it was a weird position so i couldn't do the haircut for her so i go back to the shampoo bowl and i tell her i'm like hey i just want to let you know that ariana said that i can do your um haircut because we just don't have enough time but i can go ahead and see if i can blow dry you real quick just so you know you can see the color and that your hair looks good before you leave so she was like oh why can't i get my hair cut and i was like oh it's because we had to do the double process on you and it's just kind of like the time thing and i'm like to be honest ariana is just not she's not being helpful and so she was like you know I always had an issue with Ariana because she's always been so mean to me and I'm like I can so see that I can I don't doubt it honestly like I don't doubt that she has been really mean to you go back to the station and I take her hair out and it's basically like kind of what she wanted but kind of not really because you could still see that Ronald McDonald red on there because it was just like really really red I don't know what Ariana was on she put way too much red into that first formula that that second formula would not counterbalance and like because I didn't know anything about formulas especially a beta formulas I didn't know how to help this woman so I was just I was copying and pasting whatever formula anybody gave me and I was just giving it to her but this this it came out better but it was not what she was wanting 
So I go ahead and I start um, asking her, I'm like, hey, how do you like your hair blow dried? And so basically she's showing me the section. She's like, just take this section and blow dry it back and just take these ones and blow dry it forward because then I just mess it up. And like, that's how I like to do it. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm in the middle of blow drying her hair and I'm just kind of like taking the sections or whatever and I'm blow drying and here comes Ariana. Ariana's like, um, what are we doing? I told you guys, we don't, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. And I'm just like, I can just blow dry y'all her hair was short like I get it if you're talking about somebody like me who has long thick hair but like her hair was short and straight so it's just like what are you talking about it's gonna take nothing maybe 15 minutes at max to blow dry this lady's hair and she was like um guys we don't have time for this and I told you guys that we don't have time for this and she puts her hands on Eve's shoulder and she was like I told you that like this this already took a lot more time and you know like we're not even we have no clients in the, the salon right now like we're wrapping it up and we're closing down so like i'm sorry but like we're we, we don't have time for this and so then eve was like well i'm just gonna take the blow dryer real quick so she takes the blow dryer and she starts going like this and so ariana was like you know what hold on so she takes the blow dryer and she just starts messily blow drying eve's hair like just no section no nothing and even with short hair people like y'all know when you do your hair it doesn't matter what kind of hair you have it's like if you have a certain way like a certain section nobody's hair is just like and good to go even men don't do that with their own hair you know what i mean so she was just like roughly blow drying her hair in all types of directions it looked crazy and mind you eve had like a cowlick thing going on so one of the sections was like going that way and she was telling ariana she's like oh this has to be blow dried like down this has to be blow dried down and she's like uh-huh mm-hmm and she is just, oh my God. And I'm just standing there like a bystander, just like, what? So she like roughly blow dries her hair. Eve's hair is dry, but it, when I tell y'all, it looked a mess. It looked crazy, this woman's hair. And so Ariana like rips the cape off of her and she's like, all right, um, Eve, it's, it's time for us to go. It's like, it's already 530. Like we can't be here any longer. Um, if you want to do something, just come back another day and Samantha can like look at it. But no, this we're done for today. We have to go. So she grabs Eve's purse and she's basically like guiding her out of the chair. Basically like, yeah, you have to go. Like, no, we're leaving now. Okay. And so then we go to the front and um because Eve wanted because Eve told me that she wanted to buy some of the products. So we walk to the front and Eve is in the product section about about to check out, looking crazy, looking a mess because of Ariana. She's about to check out, but she's going to the product section to go pick up some product. Do y'all know Ariana goes up to her and was like, mm -mm, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. You're just gonna have to do it on your own time. You're just gonna have to do it on your own time. And so Eve is looking at me and I'm looking at her because I am honestly in disbelief. Like this is really happening. Like what is your issue, girl? And so Eve goes ahead and she just checks out. She didn't buy and she didn't get to buy any product. She checks out. And so I'm cleaning my station and I'm just like silent because I am in shock that this happened. And like I like I told you, I didn't really like Ariana anyway. And just seeing witnessing how she treated eve i was like i really didn't like her so i'm just like so i'm cleaning up my station and ariana comes up to me and she was like yeah i don't know what she thought this was like we're not gonna stay here all night to do her hair and i just didn't say anything because i'm not partaking in this and we are not friends and so I just like didn't say anything. I was just cleaning my station. I was getting everything together. And she was like, and anyway, like with all the stuff that she does, like she, I don't even know why she would even come here and think that she could get her hair done. I kid y'all not. I never like, I didn't like Ariana to begin with, but I never had somebody do something so just like you are ugly person just inside and out you are just hideous of a person I don't even know if that made sense but it's just like when you look at somebody you're like because mind you she looks like Ariana Grande I give her that she looks like a little lookalike of her so it's like it's not like she's ugly physically but like 
she just turned so ugly to me and she ever since that day i just had this nasty taste in my mouth for her and then like uh, like then the next day the next day right eve comes in and she was just like oh, i did not like the way ariana was talking to me i did not like that blah 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 and i'm just like i'm so sorry like you did not deserve that and it was wrong like it was completely wrong the way she treated you and how you were treated just in general overall and she was like yeah i had to go home i had to change my whole outfit because samuel l jackson gave her a shower and i was just like i'm so 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 sorry about that like that's awful and then right so let's just say actually no because it had to have been like either a monday or no it had to have been like a tuesday or something either way we're in our group huddle because it's the conjoined classes right and one of the girls sat there at the group huddle she had gotten her hair done she had long black hair before and now she had like long like balayage or whatever and she was like oh my god thank you so much ariana i love my hair guys you will not believe we almost spent like eight hours doing my hair and like i'm so in love with it and then ariana's like anytime anytime you guys want to get your hair done by me just let me know So that was the story of how they completely mistreated um, Eve. And I definitely, there was a whole lot of things that had gone on there. And it's just crazy to me because I feel like, I'm so sorry. I feel like this this story is all over the place. I have stopped this story a thousand times, re-recorded the beginning and just everything. So I'm so sorry if this is all over the place. I don't know if I'm even going to upload this to be real, but um it was just crazy like I don't know I feel like I left out so many little things too where it was just like very much a ageism and racism and discrimination just because of who she was and that was a thing too because it was just so many microaggressions and so many undertones like throughout the whole interaction the way that they spoke to her because I can't I cannot like as somebody who speaks Spanish like obviously my Spanish is not like mighty fine you know because I speak so much English but like I understand when you speak to me in Spanish you know I completely 100% understand what you're saying so I can only imagine being reversed like I completely understand what you're saying in English but you're talking to me like do you hear me can you like oh my god i don't know if i did this video justice i don't know this may be a re i might re-upload this and redo the whole thing completely if i like if i missed anything in this video or i might just add some edits in here to like give you guys the full concept but <sighs> that was the time y'all and that was the story and let me tell y'all something, all these people that had this high horse about it, they don't even do hair anymore. They're not even educators anymore. And the craziest part about it was as soon as like she, Ariana was just the worst, whatever. I'm not even going to keep talking about her, whatever. That was the story, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.